Hello and welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. My name is Jason Webster. Today I thought we'd talk a little bit about corn emergence timing. We've got a study that we do at the PTI farm every single spring that revolves around the race to fast and uniform corn emergence. Now, every grower, they love walking out into their cornfields after planting time and seeing that beautiful picket fence stand, that uniform emergence. In other words, all the corn came up at the same time and it just looks perfect. But sometimes we don't get that. Okay, we have weather events, we have certain situations happening mechanically on the planter, and we can have some later emerging plants. And the whole goal of the study that we're talking about today is to, to figure out, is there a yield penalty if we do have late emerging corn plants in the field? What is the cost of this happening in the field? And then I want to know how often it is occurring in the field. So in order to do this, we implement what we call a flag testing study at the PTI farm. So we plant our corn and we wait about 100 to 110 heat units and that corn ought to be just ready to stick its head up right out of the ground. And our, our team is there ready to do flag testing. So the first initial plants up out of the ground, we come out and we flag those plants to determine they are the first emergers out of the field. We then wait 12 hours. We come back and we will mark any additional emergers, later emergers, with a different color flag. We come back 12 hours again and we do the whole thing over again with a different color flag. We come back another 12 hours later, we come back and we mark any additional late emergers. We're out there every 12, 24, 36, 48, and then we have one blanket category that is just 48 hours or later. So now, it's interesting, you know, we've been traveling around the country talking with growers and one of the things that this, this past winter I asked growers, I said, on average, how long do you think it takes to get 100% emergence of your corn on your farm? And I gave them the options of 12, 24, 36, 48, and 40, 48 hours plus. And the majority of the group uh, um, this winter said, you know, 63% said 36 hours is what it's taking to get this corn up out of the ground. And I think this is interesting. We even had, had some folks that said, you know, some of it's taken up to 48 hours. In this particular data set we're looking at, there, was, there wasn't a single grower that said they were getting 12 hour emergence, which I think is very interesting. We said, we then continued to ask questions and we said, well, have you ever done this flag testing thing on, on your farm? And 78% of the growers said they've never ever done this before. Okay, of flag testing, doing this protocol out in, in their cornfields, which meant only 22% of growers were actually going out into the field after planting and really studying or flag testing emergence timing. Very low numbers. We want to help change this number. Okay, if you go to our website at precisionplanting.com slash free, we want to send you a free emergence flagging kit. Okay. This is totally free of charge. Just go to the website, tell us where to send this thing to, give us an address and we're going to send it right to you. And you can go do some of this flag testing on your farms this spring, totally free of charge. Okay. Now get this. Here's some of our flag testing that we had at PTI this past spring. And if your corn is all coming up at the same time, you have, you know, uniform, even emergence, all of your flag colors should be the same. It ought to be one color, right? If it's all coming up at the same time. If you look at this picture, you'll see multiple colored flags, which means we do not have perfect uniform even emergence. We've got some late emergers in this particular study. Now, where did it all come out? Now, when we looked at first 12 hour emergers, we actually had over 66% of those plants come up in the first 12 hours, which when I first saw this data, I said, that, that's pretty good. We actually did pretty good with this emergence. That left about 28% of our plants coming up just 12 hours later. We go 12 hours later to 36 hours and we were running just under 5% in that category. 48 hours, about 1% and 48 hours plus, we actually had 0% in our data set. But this is the emergence factors, okay, the, the, or excuse me, the occurrence factors out in the field from our flag testing. Now, we've got these plants marked. We know which ones came up late. Now, what we want to do is monitor them through the growing season, get up to harvest time, and we're going to bring all the samples in. We're going to weigh them. We're going to get moisture checks on them. We're going to get kernel weight on them, and we're going to check yield loss. 
We've got a hand shower. This is the most this is the hardest part to this whole whole study is bringing you know lugging all these samples in and actually doing the hand shelling for this. But I want to take you. We've got some average samples, okay, that, that we had from this spring, and I want to show you what the yield difference is for every 12-hour delay in emergence. Let's go take a look at some of these samples. All right, this is what all the ear samples look like when we brought them in at harvest time. Now here's here is the samples, or here are the samples of our earliest emergers and we're going to say that the 12-hour baseline is the best that we can do today this is what we're striving for and you can see these ears they're uniform you know they're the largest size ears of, of all the samples that we have here and then we deviate to the late emergers we delay emergence just 12 hours now we're out at 24 hours and you can see the size of these ears are a reduction Matter of fact, when we calculate the yield loss, we're losing 6% of actual corn yield by these just 12 hour later emergers. It gets worse, we go out to 36 hours. Now we're starting to see 22% yield losses. We go to 48 hours, we're up to 78 hour yield losses. And look at some of these ears. Some of these ears are just completely barren. And so obviously some difficulties here with these late emergers. But you can kind of see the difference. These white lines at every emergence timing, this white line represents the 12 hour category. This, how, this is how large those ears were. And you can kind of see the reduction as we go to every 12 hour delay all the way through the study. All right, now since we've seen the samples on the ear board, now we gotta figure out, okay, which one is costing us the most money out in the field? And you know, you would think that, that the really late emergers, like the 48 hours uh, time category, would be the highest yield loss in the field. And it is a, a considerable yield loss, a pretty substantial yield loss when it happens. But here's the thing, when we go to occurrence values, and I want to go to that data here, you'll see that the 36, 48, and 48 hour plus occurrence uh, values are very, very low the highest occurrence value we have other than the 12 hour, which is our kind of baseline, the best we can do today, the highest occurrence values are coming in at the 24 hour emergence timing interval. That's the highest population that we need to go after in attack. And why do I say that? Because our 24 hour emergence um, timing intervals are giving us the highest yield loss at $20 an acre, $19.99 an acre to be exact. That's using $5 corn from last year in 2021. So my, my, my proposition to you today is how can we improve or speed up emergence just 12 hours? Okay, we'll go back to the occurrence values again. We're saying right now 12 hour emergence is the best that we can do. That's baseline today. Our 24 hour emergers just 12 hours later are giving us the highest yield loss at that $20 an acre loss. All I'm saying is how do we move these 24 hour guys, move them up to the 12 hour category, just move emergence up 12 hours earlier. How do we do that? That can actually make us money on the farm. So today's inside PTI agronomy tip of the day is uniform emergence is critical to achieve high yielding corn. I would really encourage you to implement flag testing this spring to understand corn emergence timing on your farm. Order that free flag emergence kit from us. We'd love to help you with this. Go to the website at precisionplanning.com free. Tell us where to send this and we'd love to send you a kit so you can use it on your farm this spring. Then you can go out and flag your plants, monitor, measure what's going on in your field. And remember, Follow through all the way to harvest. Look at what those ears look like from those late emergers. Let's measure them and figure out what was the actual yield loss in those situations. And then we figure out how to improve. If we have high losses, we take a look at the planner and we figure out what can we do to improve emergence. If we don't know how to do that, we've got a lot of people that can help you. We've got our local precision planning premier dealers that would love to work with you, or you can send us an email here at InsidePTI at PrecisionPlanning.com and we can definitely give you some, some ideas to improve. So that's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you on the next episode of Inside PTI.